Welcome to another 4 Minute Thursday. Today we're talking about the Osmo Pocket and focusing using the Osmo Pocket and how good or not so good it is. We've got a rig set up just down here. Let's get going. So what we're looking at here is a uh, screen recording from my phone using Mimo. I've done it this way because there's no possible way of achieving this but just by using the screen on the back of the Osmo Pocket. And for reference, the distances of the objects from the camera are shown. And interestingly, DJI say the minimum focus distance is 20 centimeters, but it's obviously better than that. So if I tap on the screen to select the mug, it comes into focus. And if I select the background, I can get that into focus as well. You see everything else falls further out of focus, which is what you'd expect. And I can tap on the phone screen to select any item in here and it will pull focus onto it. And the item that's in focus has got the yellow crosshairs on it. So if you try this on the back of the Osmo Pocket, you're just not going to have a chance because the accuracy of that tiny screen just isn't good enough for it. Now you can select focus on them, but yeah, when they're in close proximity like this, you really don't have a chance. So if you get too close to something and it simply can't focus like this, you'll get it attempting to, can't do it, gives you a red box. And if you do this on the Osmo Pocket screen, it gives you a visual warning. So we've been using AFS, which you can see at the top of the screen as an indicator, and we can change that using Mimo's options. But once you're in AFC, there's no visual indicator to what the focus mode is. So we're in continuous focus now and we select the cologne bottle and it's in focus. Theoretically now, that will remain in focus so long as we move it around on that point. Or more specifically, that point will remain in focus. But it doesn't. Focus reverts to the centre of the frame. It's not the expected behaviour having set focus on that particular point. Now it knows it loses focus, but doesn't try to get it back in the same position. So we'll move the cologne bottle back and we'll get focus on it. Now the only way to keep this in focus now is to ensure that you have uh, AFC selected and now to track it. And if it tracks and follows the item, it will find focus on it as you can see here. But of course it has to actually follow the item. And here's another important distinction between AFC and AFS in tracking. In AFS, it will not refocus on the tracked item. And of course, this is absolutely key to your understanding of how this works. If you've got the wrong setting when you're out shooting, you're going to come back, find out it's completely out of focus, and your footage will be useless. And it's also important to realise that if you're using the Osmo Pocket without the phone, then the display on screen to show what focus mode you're in is different from using Mimo. And if we swap to the Osmo Pocket view, then square brackets in AFS, and then select AFC, and now we get the yellow crosshairs we're familiar with from Mimo. And so far we've been using static objects and perhaps a bit of movement of the object. And here we're moving the camera, and we've got good focus on the light. And we need to really clear that close item before it tries to pull focus on anything else, which is not really what we've seen in the other tests. And you can see a similar thing here. The whole of that fir tree has to vanish before it tries to find focus elsewhere. And here we see it struggle quite a bit. Struggles on the first tree, then pulls the second tree, then the background. It's kind of all over the place and you've got to be very careful uh, of this because it will ruin your footage. You've got to be very mindful of things in, in different planes here. And in the next clip I'd hoped it was going to refocus on the cyclist as I moved and panned into him but it just didn't. And that's the end of our four minute guide to focusing using the Osmo Pocket. Check out the other video here for tracking using the Osmo Pocket which I think you'll find very useful too. If this video has helped you in any way please uh, smash the like button and also consider subscribing because there's more of these 4 Minute Thursdays to come soon. Cheers guys.